Hi guys, today I'm here to show you guys my empties. It has been a long awaited video and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to see my empties video but I had to take some time to really use the products and really empty out everything and some stuff you might see that there are some um, remainings left in the bottle or the tub because I couldn't finish using it in time and most of them are expired so yeah that's why so how we are going to go about this video I will be showing each individual item according to what I like and what I will repurchase to the worst and I will not repurchase so yeah let's just get into the video all right I'm gonna categorize everything I will be going from cleansers to toners to maybe serums uh, moisturizers and so on. The first thing I really like and I will repurchase is these two L'Oreal Micellar Water. I like these two because they are very very gentle on the skin. They don't burn the skin, they don't sting the skin because I have eczema on this side of my face and it tends to just burn when I use certain uh, micellar waters. For some reason I don't know what's inside but these are really really good. So I like how it says this is refreshing and also it says it's even for sensitive skin use. Same for this one. This one is the moisturizing one and this is the refreshing one. So I highly recommend to use this if you are on a budget because these are very affordable. I can't remember the price but I know it's very affordable. I have emptied out this too. Right now I'm using this new one. So. That is something I would recommend. The next item I highly highly recommend and I really really love is this Cosrx Low pH First Cleansing Milk Gel. This is one cleansing milk gel that I cannot live without. I have gone through I think about 5 of these and I am just currently waiting for my new one to arrive. Why I really love this milk gel because it's very gentle, it's very creamy, very milky, it doesn't burn the skin. This is also suitable for sensitive skin and I like how it doesn't leave the face feeling too dry. You know how certain products, it strips away the oil on your skin, it leaves it really tight and really really dry. I do not like that so this is really good. I highly highly recommend this. Unfortunately, this is a bit on the pricier side so I would recommend you to try out the micellar water which is really good. And if you have a little more to spend, this is really good. I'm actually gonna buy more of these and stock up because I just can't live without this. The next item is not really a K-Beauty item, but it is from Australia. It is the Eagle QV Gentle Wash. Back in 2008 or 9, I suffered from this thing called acne vulgaris, which is a very, very uh, severe acne breakout and all this like, cystic acne and all this kind of stuff. This literally cleared my acne in just 3 to 5 days. I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating. This literally did it. And this is very very gentle on most skins, especially on um, babies and also for elderly. I just can't live without this. I have been using this for more than 5 years. I just cannot live without this. So if you guys have um, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, all this kind of like skin allergies. I, I suggest you guys to try this out. This is really really good. Okay, so the next item is a little sample pack that I got from Innisfree last time. It is the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. I really like this because I like how it foams up a lot and it's very gentle on the skin. It doesn't strip off everything from the skin and it really does clear out the pores because I have very large pores. I'm not very sure if you guys can see. It's right here. And I usually use this on a very um, very hot and sweaty day uh, when my face is really oily and I just want to clean out everything from my pores so I would use something like this. On regular days, I would just use my QV wash. Okay, next up we have toners. These are the two things that I cannot survive without because these two really help to save my skin on certain days so they are the Cosrx one step original clear pad and the one step moisture up pad these two they really really work they work wonders on my skin so what this does it helps to clear acne and excess sebum 
And what this one does, it helps to clean everything that is below the skin surface. So I highly recommend this too because not only it is a chemical exfoliant, these two work as toners. Next item is from Dear Claire's, it's the Supple Preparation Facial Toner. I'm actually quite generous when it comes to applying toner on my face, especially toners like this because they are not the watery type. It is slightly more sticky. Usually I would just pour this on my hand and then just pat it on my skin. I will usually do about two to three layers every day, morning and night, so that's why I finish out this really really quick and I don't think I would repurchase this because it is a little on the pricier side for me if you guys have really sensitive skin this is a good toner to try out because it really does help to calm the skin down on days that are really really hot I always use this to calm down the redness on my skin because I always tend to get red around here especially on the cheek and on my bridge so this one really works very very well for sensitive skin Next one is the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Toner. Most of the time I use this on very humid and hot days because um, my T-zone gets really oily and sometimes just regular toners, um, I feel like it doesn't clean out as clean as this toner because this is meant for um, very oily skin. This is actually pretty good when it comes to really cleaning out the pores so I highly recommend this. And the next one is this Moistful Collagen Facial Toner by Etude House. When it comes to moisturizing toner, this one and the Claire's one are really good because their texture is really um, gooey, not really like gel, but it's like a slightly more um, thicker water texture. So these are very good when it comes to very, very dry skin. If you guys are from a country that has winter, or any place that is very dry, I highly recommend this because this is so good. Okay, moving on to the next one, I have this uh, Moistful Collagen Emulsion from Etude House. So if you guys can see, I'm not done with this yet, but it is already expired. And this one, I find it a bit too rich for my skin. On certain days when I don't feel my face too oily but a bit dry, I would use this. But for now, I don't think I would be using this again. I will not purchase this anymore. If you guys have severely dehydrated skin, yeah, check out this range. So this is called the Moistful Collagen uh, range from Etude House. Alright, moving on to moisturizers. We have the Neogen Vito Duo Cream, Joan Day and Night Cream. This is one thing that I cannot live without. For some reason, when I got this first top, I took out the first scoop of the day cream. I applied it on my skin, it melts like butter. If you have never felt butter melting on your skin, I mean don't, I mean not that really oily texture, but the way the texture melts, it's it's very unusual, it's really nice, and I like how it really absorbs into the skin immediately. It doesn't leave this very greasy feeling after, so I really really recommend this. And what makes this even more interesting is this comes in two sections inside. So you guys can see, it has the day and the night and when you open it, it looks like this. So this part is actually filled with day cream which is um, which is formulated with uh, green tea and vitamin C and this side is the night cream which is infused with lavender and vitamin E. I've used this entire tub for 4 months and I immediately can see a difference after like 3 months. People have been telling me that my skin looks a lot brighter, a lot better. Um, I even noticed that there are less uh, acne scarrings on my face. I really recommend this for those who really want to save money. If you need a day cream, a night cream, please get this. Unfortunately, this is not sold everywhere. I got mine from Style Korean. Please just get this, this is really good. Okay, next one is the Etude House Moistful Collagen Cream. This is just a regular moisturizer. This one has a very, very nice fragrance. Okay, I know most of you guys will be like, Oh, fragrance are not good for your skin. Uh, you shouldn't put it on your skin because it has fragrance. For me, I'm actually fine. I don't really mind the fragrance because it doesn't irritate my skin. And sometimes I really like smelling nice when I use the skincare. So yeah, that's my personal preference. And this one, it has a very light um, gel texture as well on the skin. So once you apply, it does sink into the skin. It really, really moisturizes the skin. You can immediately feel like your face is very supple, very soft. And um, yeah, I do recommend this. This is pretty affordable as well. So yeah, get this. This is from Etude House. 
Okay, moving on to night creams. So the first one is the Etude House Moistful Collagen Sleeping Pack. Apparently, I have not finished using this yet, so this is how the texture looks like. This is actually my second tub. I did not finish using this because I was trying out some other night creams and uh, unfortunately this just expired. The entire Moistful Collagen range is actually pretty good. So if you guys are very new to skincare, you guys want to get started on skincare, I highly recommend to try out the Etude House Moistful Collagen range because it is really really good. And the next item is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask in lavender. I got this small one from my friend Charlotte because I, I begged her to give me this one because I really really want to try the lavender one. I love lavender scent. I don't know where I've been all these years. I really love this. This is very similar to the Joan Night Cream. It has a very light gel uh, texture. It really feels very watery after you apply it. It just absorbs into the skin immediately. Unfortunately, this is on the pricier side as well. So I recommend you guys to get the blue one, which is just a regular water sleeping mask with no lavender inside. That is the OG. Okay, so if you guys want something similar, get the blue one, the water sleeping mask. The next one is something that was kind of random. I went to Sephora, I wanted to um, try out something different. So I got this Mamond Calming Hydro Sleeping Mask uh, with Calendula Flower. I also got this small little like uh, travel size uh, night cream because I've never tried this brand before. So yeah, I decided to try this out. And this one, which is very weird, it smells it smells really 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 nice very strong too strong for my liking felt like it has alcohol inside because you know alcohol when you smell it it has this very strong like punch to your to your nose and this one has that but when i apply it it does not burn my skin it does not sting it doesn't cause my eczema to flare up so this is very unusual but this one is really really nice. I really like how this also has like tiny little flower bits inside. This one is actually pretty good. So last one would be this Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. If you guys can see the cover um, cracked because I kept it for too long because I wanted to do an empties like a long time ago but I didn't have enough empties to film this so yeah. Finally took this out, <laughs> it cracked and what I really like about this is the packaging okay it's so nice it comes in this like very like brown uh, glass because I think it's to keep the product inside fresh and it doesn't get exposed to the Sun this one contains guazulane ceramide 3 centella asiatica extract so this is quite moisturizing um, usually I use this on like um, areas where I have acne so I would like spot treat with this and it kind of works I don't really use it all over the face but um, I only use it on certain areas because I don't see the reason why I need to put it all over my face so yeah this one is really good for those who have sensitive skin and also uh, acne prone skin the last item I have that I cannot live without two is from Cosrx is the acne pimple master patch Right now, I'm using the new one, which is the Clear Fit. I think it's called the Clear Fit patch or something. It's actually black. I can't remember. But this is something that I cannot live without because I always get breakouts. And most of the time, it's around my chin. I usually get hormonal breakouts. And sometimes it's on my forehead because I read somewhere that over consuming dairy will cause um, excess yeast production. So it tends to break out on the forehead, like causing this little white bumps with like pass inside so I do get that sometimes I tend to pick on them kind of you know get inflamed and gets bigger so I usually use this I wouldn't really go and touch it after I stick this on because it covers up the acne it prevents any dirt from getting inside so this one is very good I highly recommend this for those who tend to break out a lot okay last one on the favorites category is this Claire's uh, Midday Blue Sun Lotion in SPF 40 PA++ This is also one of my holy grail Unfortunately, they have discontinued this I have no idea why I really really love this I have been searching high and low for this So if you guys know who is selling or where or any source that is selling this 
please leave a link down below. I would be so grateful. I really love this. And one thing about this I really like is when I apply it on my face, it does leave like a little like white cast. Something inside this helps to even out the skin tone. It really does calm down the redness. I think it's because of the guazulane inside or something like that. It um it really does calm down the skin. My skin is always red around my nose. So after I apply this, it's always like even out. I will just get this and use this forever. So which trend, if you guys are watching this, please bring this back. I really, really like this. I really cannot survive without this. So yeah, this is something that I would recommend as well. I would repurchase if it's still in the market. All right, so you guys have seen the favorites category and moving on to the not so favorite category. We have the Petite Fee Black Pearl and Gold Hydrogel Eye Patch. This one is not my favorite because it burns my skin. Every time I take two pieces, stick it here, it burns my skin. I left it on for 10 seconds. I just had to just peel it off and throw it away because I don't know what's inside that really burns the skin. So I have not finished using this. It looks like this. And I just, I just can't use this. I just need to throw this away and it's already all dried up so this is something that is a big no-no for me I will not repurchase this, I will not recommend this so yeah, okay goodbye and the next one is the Skin Food Watery Berry not that I don't like this product it is actually a very good product it's a very lightweight gel eye cream I just don't see how it helps my skin because it doesn't for some reason, I just felt like it does nothing to my skin. Yeah, it, it's just like, it does, it just does nothing. So I'm sorry, I will not repurchase this. Goodbye. And another one is the Body Shop Elderflower Unperfumed Cooling Eye Gel. I got this because um, I just wanted to try an eye cream because I've never used it. So this was my very first eye cream and I don't really like this because Again, like the skin food one, it felt like it did nothing for my skin. And this is the texture inside. It just looks like gel. That's it. And um, yeah, it it just smells like... It just smells like nail polish remover. That's how it smells like. So yeah, I'm going to give a pass on this one. So that is my very short, um, not so favorite category. Moving on to the very meh category, we have... Let's start off with toners is the Mamon Rose Water Toner. I really, really want to like this. I really love the scent of it. I really love how it felt. But I don't feel like it's doing anything to my skin. It just felt like water. You know how you take a cotton pad and you just put on water and you just wipe your face? So that's how that feels like. I'm so sorry. I I really tried to like this, but I just, I just couldn't. It's just a meh kind of product. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just meh. So another item from the meh category is the Cosrx One Step Green Hero Calming Pad. Um, apparently this doesn't work for me because when I used it at first, it kind of felt like it was stinging a bit on my skin but it just went away after a while. And um, I don't know what is inside but after I used this a couple of times, I just felt like it just did nothing for my skin. So I might not repurchase this, but not to say that I don't like this. It's just very meh because it just didn't do what I expected it to do. And the next one is the Pyong Kang Yul Essence Toner. This one is the same as well. I tried using it on days where I have really bad breakouts and stuff and also very... Um, dry skin this one felt like it did nothing as well along with the smaller uh, Pyong Kang Yul Mist Toner this, these two it just felt very meh to me because like I said it did nothing for my skin so yeah and then the next one is a serum okay, I know when I show this next one everyone's gonna be like what? why? this is such a good this is such a good product Everyone has been raving how good this product is, but for me, it just did not work. So the next one is the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. I'm so sorry everyone, but this just, 
felt like it did nothing for my skin because I just felt like because it's too light that when I apply on my skin it just evaporates and I don't feel like it does hydrate the skin or whatever but I do prefer using the Claire's one. If you guys have seen the Claire's um, serum, I would prefer that because it has a richer texture and it's more suitable for my skin because I do have very dehydrated skin and also sometimes very dry skin. So unfortunately, this one just did not work for me. I'm sorry guys, please do not leave bad comments on my channel because of this. It just did not work for me. It might work for you, but just not for me. I'm very sorry. But for those of you who really like this, please keep on using it. And the last item is this uh, Skin and Lab uh, K Vitamin K Dr. Vita Clinic K Plus Red X. Ooh, what a mouthful. Um, this one, it actually does help with my acne and all this stuff. But I realized that after a couple of use, it just felt like nothing's happening to my skin anymore. I tend to get used to... I, apparently my skin just did not react or it did not feel like anything is happening after I use this after two weeks. So yeah, I don't think I would repurchase this. This is actually a good product but it's just very meh because like I said, it, it does help. But after that, it doesn't help because it doesn't do anything. So, yeah. I don't think I would repurchase this. So if you guys like this, keep on using this. But for me, it's a pass. There you have it. That's my favorites, not so favorite, and meh category. So if you guys want to see everything that I've talked about in the video, I will leave a link down below to all the items I've talked about. Leave a comment down below what you like and what you don't like. Also, please don't leave a hate comment because of something that I don't like because some things may work for you but not for me. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you guys can get notified when I upload new videos. So I guess this is the end of my video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!